Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. As you can see, my Christmas tree is up and shining brightly and I'm getting into the festive mood. And when I'm talking about festive mood, I don't care about the food. I care about what I'm going to wear. So this year we will be spending Christmas here in London and we're flying back on the 26th to Greece to visit our parents and that's where we will spend the rest of the holidays. So I'm thinking of what to wear uh, on New Year's Eve. We're not gonna uh, go somewhere fancy, we'll probably be at home with our families but I always like to dress up a little bit and my favorite thing to wear is a dress to be honest i love dresses i think it's so easy to uh, style them up you put the dress on choose some fancy shoes jewelry favorite fragrance and you're good to go i also love a depier but i find it mm, slightly trickier to put it together and make it look as effortless as possible so I think dress it is for this season, but I don't think I'll have time to go and shop something new. So let's be sustainable here. And what I will do on today's video is go through my wardrobe, pick one, two, three dresses, style them up with different shoes this time for a change and present them to you. I have selected the dresses guys, surprise surprise they're all silk and this time I've also selected three different pair, uh, pairs of shoes. Okay, this is the first dress that I put on. It is a silk black dress from Intimissimi. Uh, it is very strappy here so I want to cover my arms and I will choose maybe a black silk jacket from house it it is quite old it's like probably over eight years old it's slightly tight but it's fine i can leave it open uh, like that and i think it looks chic shall we try some shoes on let's do it i'm going because everything is black I want a pop of color with my shoes and I'm gonna opt for some Manolos and a lovely color red very festive kitten heel I love the shoes by the way uh, I bought them a few years ago at Harrods and this is the complete look with the shoes these are the may sales in the low hill in this vibrant red what do you think of this outfit and here is this rixo silk dress in all its uh, glory i have paired it with this beautiful prada velvet uh, heels and it has a slit here and it is very very long and it keeps me warm actually this is the dress i worn last year on new year's eve i don't know if it is a full pattern to wear the same dress again <laughs> i love it and we are into dress numero tres these stunning polka dots realization par dress that i've had for a few years uh, now it's a little bit cleavagey um so sometimes i do wear uh, like a little body um underneath so as to cover up uh, but i haven't put anything on uh, now i have paired it again with my prada heels because I love them but this dress also looks nice with the red manolos let me quickly uh, put them on to show you so the difference that I feel with uh, these uh, shoes compared to the Prada ones is huge these are the kitten the kitten heel of course it is kitten teeny tiny um, but they are very very uh, nice uh, shoes and they go red goes so well with silk and the polka 
uh, dots design. I like it, but I feel sexier with uh, the Prada ones. And this is the third pair of shoes that I wanted to show you today, as French as it gets, with a little bow detail and the Chanel uh, logo. What is the fabric of this one? I think it has some satin and they have round toes, uh, which is very French, I would uh, say. I do like the pointy uh, of the Prada heels, but this is quite feminine. Not as sexy, but feminine. Yeah, I think this was great cardio, actually. Let me know which dress was your favorite one, uh, guys, and which shoes also you preferred the most. Do I have any favorite ones? Hmm. I think I might have, actually. 